big, big year for our next guest. Not only has he landed a brand new West End role in the musical Grease, which is fantastic, he's also, I can't quite believe this, okay. he's celebrating what's been an amazing 30 years in showbiz. And Peter joins us now, and what made me laugh even more is I went, congratulations on 30 years, and he went, what, since I met you? Well, yeah, because you said, <laughs> I can't believe it's been 30 years. I went, has it been that long since I've seen you? You're like, no. <laughs> Do you know, <laughs> typical me. I hate to shock you, it's near enough 30 years since we did our first... In no, it's I probably 20-odd it's... years since we did our Unreal. first interview together. You know, it is amazing when I think back and I think at all the... You know, how much England's been incredible to me, you know, and all the things I've done and all the people I've met and I see them all these years later, it's brilliant. And th that interview, also on the show with us, was a 14-year-old Fern Cotton and a 13-year-old no Reggie Yates. That's how old What? I know. Oh, I know, it's yeah. terrible. Yeah, well, thanks Mate, for that. we're still going. Yeah. I was feeling great until about five minutes <laughs> we're ago. We're still going, Pete. We are still, we're going. still going, you're right. We're, we're, yeah, we're, I was going to say we're making the 40s club look all right, but you're... might be... Hey, mate, you're I'm, making me. The 40, I'm making the 40s club look like teenagers, mate. I'm way beyond that. That's I'm not joking. That. You two have aged very well. In fact, I think you've got better with age. Oh, oh. honestly. You can stay. Yeah. Oh, can she's I stay? my favourite. <laughs> she's my favourite. Yeah. yeah. I know you do you good. do look great. And I guess keeping busy, keeping on and keeping active, staying working is all a part of it. Yeah, I think it's a good point. Because yeah, last night, because I'm doing Greece in the West End, and I was last night I was there thinking, surely doing all the warm-ups every day and the running around, it, it keeps you young. It keeps you feeling great, you know? Talking of Greece, uh, we've got a bit of footage of you in the <laughs> show there. Can we, have a, can we have a little look at that? It's like watching the film, really it is. And, and in, it's, not, it's not based on the film, even though you've got all the classics of the film, it's based on the original Broadway production. So, that, so it wasn't called T-Birds, it was called Burger Palace Boys. So they've gone for the original oh, script, but it's brilliant because you get all the Bee Gees classics, you get all the stuff that you saw in the film. It's fantastic. Are there new songs in it that we wouldn't have? Yeah, there's a couple of added songs that weren't in the film. Mooning, uh, which is, <laughs> is actually brilliant. Um, uh, and there's extra bits on Grease Lightning that weren't in the film as well. I mean, brilliant. every night must be like a party for you. You play Vince Fontaine. How is it going? Oh, it's brilliant. So I get to play Vince Fontaine and I get to play uh, Frankie Avalon, beauty school dropout. And it's a very quick change. So I've got to change wigs, costume very quickly. It's so much fun. And the cast and the crew are backstage singing every night. I've never once seen anyone go, oh, they're just constantly buzzing. I mean, you know, the coffee's strong. <laughs> uh, well, have to be, a beauty school dropout is such a great tune, though, oh, it's isn't it? Great. Well, in the film, I used to fast forward it because I used to think it was boring. But actually, in the original script, a lot, everything leads up to this point. It's a brilliant, brilliant part of the show. How did the role come about for you, Pete? So, um, initially, um, I'm going back years ago. When, not that many years, not um, more than 30. Not more than 30. <laughs> um, well, basically, there's been a few times where I was offered parts in, in this show as Danny as different parts. When it got to the new script, this new version, they approached me firstly just as Teen Angel. And I did it initially about three years ago and I loved it. I couldn't believe how much fun theatre was. I, I forgot what it was like because I hadn't done it since I was a kid, you know. Um, and then they said, look, would you come back and play another character as well, Vince? And I was like, I'd love to. And now I'm doing it, it just feels like I'm at home. You could oh, play Danny Zuko still, couldn't he? Look. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think you I'd could. be a teenager. No? Uh, no, the, the guys... The, actually, the guy who plays Danny is called Danny, funny enough. He's absolutely brilliant. Uh, and Rizzo, I mean, you've got to come and see it. It's great. Can you believe you've been in the business for 30 years? I can't believe I've lived for <laughs> <laughs> this long. No, honestly, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm buzzed. I'm really happy. And, you know, next year, even though technically 30 years is this year, Next year, I'm going to do a series of things to, to celebrate that, you know, work-wise. Oh, likewise. Tell us. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do five shows of something I've never done before. So it's not a concert. It's not an evening with. It's just something unique. It's all audience interaction. Because there was a lot of time that we didn't do shows through lockdown, it was a great opportunity for us to say, let's do something where we can get everybody involved, people that want to come and see it. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, it's, it's on a website called peterandre30.com, just in case anyone wants to go on, and you can see all the dates. So they're the first five things we're doing. And then later on, I'll be doing um, an, an my first album in years. I'll be doing a tour to follow that, a music tour, but that's later. And my first film as well. Your I'm first, so first feature film. You're so mm. busy. I love it. 
What's the film? Can you tell us? So, so the film's a comedy. It's only got a working title at the moment, but it's, uh, it, it's, it really... Do you know what, actually? Once I get it done and it's finished, would you let me come on and, yeah. and talk yeah. about it and show you a clip? Because Love it is you. brilliant. Finished by November, November, December. So feature film and a reality show. How do you fit it all in? Uh, yeah, the reality show, we haven't confirmed only dates yet because of the film, because we've still got... I know it sounds a bit like, oh, uh, well, you know. <laughs> well, but Peter, I, the old is... rule is if you say it on television, it has to happen yeah. or it embarrasses yep. people. So when's the yeah. reality show? <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the thing is, um, because of everything else going on and we want to do it, but it's just... It's been pushed back and back because of everything else. And the film, because it's taken a lot longer to finish, which I'm happy for, because it means that it's going to be better, um, I'm happy to just take what's coming at the moment. So the show will come, but, but no definite date yet. Do you know what's a lovely thing about getting older? Is you don't have regrets about stuff you've done in the past and stuff you might be embarrassed about. Maybe you go, actually, that was a great bit of crack. <laughs> and little moments that you might want to talk about in the past, you just start enjoying a lot more. Do you find your yeah. reflections are more enjoyable on the 30 years now? As yeah. But I do think I went through an arrogant stage and I do look back and I sort of... I get annoyed at myself sometimes when I look back at the way I said things or the way I did things or the way I acted. And in it, I, know, I know that I should be joyful about everything, but I think that the, the main thing is that you get to a point where you actually realise... You're, you know, you've grown up now, you know what I mean? I would never have said that, see? I would have never, uh, ever... I, I, I've I did, always thought yeah. of you as, like, the nicest man yeah. in showbiz. Never, yeah, ever would I... No, I, I've, I've had my moments. Yeah. <laughs> but but, I, like, but I think everybody does, yeah. and it's about, it's about, you know... Well, we've loved your moments so much so that we wanted to celebrate your 30 years in showbiz. Oh. I mean, you had us all singing Mysterious Girl <laughs> all those years ago. <laughs> I'll remember yeah. it always <laughs> down the park with my friends. So we thought we'd give you a little treat with your own cake. Oh, Look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> I and love Alex that. didn't drop it. She was terrified. Oh, she that dropped it. thank you. <laughs> but the thing is... That is amazing. Look at those abs. Do you think them... Do you think it's uncanny? I mean... I'm pretty shocked at how good that is. I mean, it's better than me, so I'm happy about that. What is, hap what is happening here these days? OK, so they're hibernating. Yeah. They're there. Can I... They're you don't want to show, can I touch and just... Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, they're, just still, they're still kind of... Ah, for good look can at I, that. Can I touch? Yeah. No. no. All right. They're there, Peter. Andre. They're not abs. The abs I'm... are there. Stop. Can Wait, I, what are you talking about? Listen, bit, we're left with this. Could, with the... I can't we're confirm. Green room. I can't room. confirm. They're still there. Green they room. are still <laughs> there. There'll be zero abs after that cake. I am so grateful, guys. Thank <laughs> you very much. No, congratulations thank to you. you. And thank you. Thank you for everything. Because, uh, you know, you've been so busy. You've brought us so much entertainment over the years. So, yeah, thank oh, you very thank much. You. Uh, thank you. Fair play to you. Always enjoyed it. It's great to talk to you again. Yeah, you too, mate. You too. Let's not leave it 30 years before I see you again. Yeah, that's. Let's not. Let's <laughs> not. We'll be you, back Peter. to talk about the movie and the reality yeah. show that we Absolutely. got commissioned today live on telly. So Let's go. That. Good stuff. Um, thanks, Pete. Thanks.